Hi all, it's that time of week again. It's the Truth, Honour and Integrity Show. My name's Thomas Williams and tonight is November the 9th. Hi all and welcome to another week of the Truth, Honour and Integrity Show. My name's Thomas Williams and it's the usual news and views from around the world and some uh, rather interesting op-ed pieces or piece uh, in the second hour or maybe near the, the end of the first hour. Uh, Intel is thin on the ground at the moment because a lot of things are going on. Um, chaos in Saudi for various reasons um, resignations in England and the pedophile thing has now reached a critical point where we really don't have to, we in the alternative media don't really have to cover it anymore it's gone to a stage where it's viral so our role is to get other pieces of news that was classed as conspiracy out into the, the public arena in the same way and uh, you know we've waited a long time for these days and yes I'm aware that some will say oh it's not much fun and this is happening I, I, I get that you know uh, I live a life as well or <laughs> part of one anyway <laughs> But for those who have been researching for a long time like myself, or even been awake four to five years, we at that that point you go back to 2012. Um, we dreamt of days like today, where the elites and the cabal and the money people are all getting exposed left, right and centre now we did expect it this year um, well I did it was called the unravelling I'll have more on that as a reminder in the piece later on but these are, these really are exciting times in, in so many ways we've all been called um, all kinds of names nuts and whatever and we're being validated by the hour no, not by the year like it was or two weeks even it's literally hour by hour and it's uh, it's kind of a uphill task to keep up with what's going on in various places all around the world and this is um, what we've been waiting for Yes, we all want to have a better life and maybe better jobs and maybe a bit more money. But there's a lot of clean-ups still to go on. The depth of this system um, is staggering, to say the least. It didn't just involve certain money people or bankers. It involves hospitals and corporations and judges, cops, military, agencies. And that's just in this country. <laughs> There's 209 countries that all have to clean house. And yes, we will uh, get good news along the way. I have said before or stated before that it will be a series of events rather than a light switch moment. Yes, there will be key events where maybe one of the bigger names gets arrested or removed permanently or announced that they're actually not with us anymore. Of course, we, this show has mentioned about Soros and Hillary Clinton. Um, Soros hasn't been seen, or at least I haven't seen him. We still see uh, the other entity known as Hillary Clinton or Android as uh, <laughs> we like to call her um, she appears to have gone missing again <laughs> so she's on the run whether she's come back 
Uh, I think I have the feeling, and don't quote me on this, or maybe do, if she comes back here, she'll get lifted. She knows the writing's on the wall. She knows, you know, she got away. In, in essence, she got away with Benghazi. In essence, she also got away with the emails. But she's not getting away with the uranium deal. She's not getting away with a collusion with others. Russia. You know, those bad commies that are always coming to get us. And yet here we are, a leading political figure in America selling our resources to the so-called enemy. She won't get away with that. Um, she could be the catalyst in many ways. Because there's a, a general opinion bit like the banks too big to fail um, too big to arrest that may still be the case um, I have a feeling the top brass and the big guns are gone for Hillary is she the only one? no no more than arresting Obama Cheney, Rumsfeld, the Bushes. Yes, it will be uh, a fantastic day that all those are away from society. But there's a lot of hidden hands. They're the ones that pull the strings. They're the ones that dictate policy. The deep state, as it's called now called here. I would sooner say the 39 levels of secrecy above the president. Oh, well, Mr. Trump's over in Asia at the moment. Um, bizarrely, maybe a pointer, it may not be. He's announced today World Freedom Day. What that entails, we're still uh, awaiting further news. But uh, our team are rather busy with uh, numerous... <laughs> Uh, things currently that's uh, far more important than this show but Mr. Trump says um, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the constitution and the laws of the United States I do hereby proclaim November 9th 2017 as World Freedom Day I call upon the people of the United States to observe this day with appropriate ceremonies interesting term and activities reaffirming our dedication to freedom and democracy and that was um, signed yesterday we said we're still waiting for certain things maybe certain hammers have gone down and that's why Mr. Trump's announced that Maybe when he returns, there'll be more announcements. Time will tell. Anyway, we better get into the details of this show. And the email for the show is truth.honor.and.integrity at gmail.com. And the link for the show is www.speaker.com forward slash user forward slash 89558881. And the articles website where you can also listen to the show live and, and catch all the archives is thinkdifferent.thepeoplesclub.org. We have the Facebook site, uh, Truth, Honor and Integrity, and also a MeWe site. For those of you who don't like Facebook, um, if you can't find us, send an email to the truth.honor.and.integrity at gmail.com. And we also have the People's Club Donations website link. I just hope that that gets to go ahead soon. But we'll see. Now we've been waiting long enough. Um, and that's the peoplesclub.org. Right, let's get into some news. Um, again, is where do you start? <laughs> you know, um, 
We're going to start with the Red Cross. Now being exposed in Freetown, Sierra Leone, for committing fraud. Go figure. Red Cross workers and others wasted more than six million dollars that was meant to fight the deadly Ebola outbreak in West Africa. Remember that? With the uh, series of events that have followed since, the Ebola outbreak has kind of been forgotten. Um, so they, all those donations for the Ebola outbreak, um, the Red Cross and its workers decided to steal. So an, an internal investigation of how money was handled between the 2014 and 2016 epidemic that killed more than 11,000 people in Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea. Now, the disease in Guinea uh, quickly spread to Sierra Leone and Liberia and the international aid response was initially slow. Again, go figure, we've seen this time and time and time again. And money, once it arrived, was often dispersed quickly in the rush to purchase supplies and get aid workers into the field. The findings of the internal investigation was first posted online but were not widely publicised until last Friday and the IFRC confirmed the finding Saturday and said it was working with Sierra Leone's Anti-Corruption Commission. Yet again, another one being um, charged with corruption and fraud. Um, That's replicated in many countries currently. And they uh, intend to investigate and legally pursue any persons that are involved. They also revealed evidence of fraud in the other two hardest hit countries during the Ebola crisis, which was Liberia, and um, evidence of fraud related to inflated prices of relief items, payroll and payment of volunteer incentives, a bit like the military, $450 for a toilet seat. (laughs) It beggars belief. Where is the oversight? This is the problem. Um, So the investigations are continuing and they've found six million missing. And the other two investigations are pending. Off to Britain. Um, There was a ceremony last week in Britain. Ceremony of shame, really given what it led to and they chose to honour um, on November the 2nd a hundred years after the initial creation of Israel which will go down as one of the most shameful days in British history um, on November the 2nd 1917 they laid the foundations for adding a country where one never existed, both then or previous, under the name of Israel. But 100 years to the day, last week, they, they being the Brits, remain unrepentant since Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour pledged the UK's support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people. They already had one, it was called Palestine. Uh, or Ukraine and the leaders of yesteryear came together to celebrate the day Britain sold out the Palestinians Prime Minister Theresa May um, I have a feeling she may not be Prime Minister much longer but she is currently uh, was joined in Thursday night's festivities by uh, her Israeli counterpart Benjamin Netanyahu uh, former US Secretary of State go figure John Kerry and none other than formal Middle East Peace Envoy Tony Blair. That's, that's a laugh in itself, Tony Blair. Peace Envoy. Uh, hello, Mr. Blair. Iraq. <laughs> With uh, bogus evidence. I'm sure they just take the piss. You know. Ooh, let's all worry about Muslims. So we'll employ, uh, we'll have a president who's actually a Muslim. It's piss taken. And uh, 
Mr. Blair, former MI5 stroke six, who then became prime minister, <laughs> there and made a huge mess of the country deliberately and then becomes a peace envoy. Really. So Mr. Blair, who left the Middle East job with rather less peace than when he arrived, yep, as all his cronies were getting uh, backhanders, uh, war creates profit, as you all know. And Theresa May took the opportunity at the low-key dinner organised by the Balfour 100 to share Britain's pride in greenlighting Zionist aspirations in the former Ottoman lands of the Eastern Mediterranean. She insisted Britain would not apologise to the indigenous Palestinians who consider the declaration a betrayal. And Mr Netanyahu praised the UK for galvanising international support for the Zionist state, saying its formation would not have been possible without it. Exactly. Now, the Balfour Declaration puts Britain on the right side of history, marking that the Declaration today, you are keeping Britain on the right side of history, said Mr. Netanyahu, really. The Palestinian Return Centre spokesman said, they said not long ago that they do not intend to apologise, and this shows they are in complete denial over their colonial crimes in Palestine and they're still not willing to recognise the huge historical responsibilities they have towards Palestinians for the British occupation of Palestine that led to the mass displacement of the Palestine nation in 1948. So, the creation of Israel was decreed in, on November the 2nd, 1917. Bear in mind that was just four years after the same group of people took over the American banking system called the Federal Reserve. Same people. All out of the city of London. Now Saudi Arabia, um, I could have spent probably an hour talking about Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I've got a couple of items. Um, the Saudi press reported late last Saturday that a prominent billionaire, the mem- a member of the royal Saudi family and one of the biggest shareholders of City News Corp and Twitter, not to mention frequent CNBC guest Al Walid bin Talal, along with Ten senior princes and some 38 ministers have been arrested for corruption and money laundering charges on orders from the new anti-corruption committee headed by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. While royal princes' private planes have been grounded and among those fired and or arrested are the head of the Royal National Guard, um, Mr bin Abdullah, the Minister of Economy and Planning, Adel Fakahi and Admiral Sultan bin Mohammed Al Sultan, the commander of the Saudi naval forces. Um, on it goes, the Saudi bank account and asset freeze and confiscation of dozens of princes and ministers as just the whole of a billionaire prince. Alwa leads 19 billion in fair, various holdings. So these have been uh, sequestered from what I gather and uh, the, all their assets have been frozen and the bank account shut down for f- fraud um, including nearly a billion dollars in jewellery planes, yachts, furniture and cash and a series of arrests has implicated three of the country's richest people including Prince uh, Al Walid bin Talal who's number 50 on the Billionaires Index link, ranking of the world's top 500 richest people. Um, Also being held are the kingdom's second and fifth wealthiest people, as well as a travel agency mogul, Bakar Bin Laden, a scion of one of the country's biggest construction empires. He also, of course, is Osama Bin Laden's brother. Go figure all told up to 33 billion 
in arrested royalty wealth is at risk of confiscation. Now, also what happened is two princes have died, one in an accidental, uh, in massive inverted commas, in a helicopter, and another one has died today, I think, in a firefight because he wouldn't um, turn himself in. Now, Mr. Talal, we, I do have new news on him. He tried to steal money from the collateral accounts at one point. 500 billion. So, um, he's not a good guy. And... Uh, Further news today is the, the the main royal is stepping down, Mr. Salman, and he's putting his son in charge now. All the rogues have been removed. This uh, this Saudi stuff uh, can be looked at in two ways. One, it's um, the good guys cleaning house. And two, it's part of the faction wars. Now, either way, if they're going to start arresting um, people out of the factions, then carry on. You know, the, the premise is from their part that they're going to trim the fat because the reality is they cannot afford the control structure anymore. They've run out of cash. This is why we're having all these various events and donations and charities. It's all going into their bank accounts. It's not going to the people or whatever the donation is for. None of it. Red Cross aren't interested in looking after people. They're interested in looking after themselves. They always have done. And until we take them down, always will do, no doubt. And they're just one. cancer centres heart centres they've had cures for that for nearly 85 years but at $300,000 per patient so that um, people have more interested in money than looking after people and the temptation is always there doesn't it Remember that doctor, I think it was Wisconsin or Michigan, who got caught about 18 months ago, falsifying cancer records, 2,300 patients, he told. They had cancer when they never. I could have said recently, is there no end to the lengths people will go just to make money? You know, there's pe- people around the world, there's 40% of people around the world who don't have basic meals. One, two or three meals a day. And there's people fabricating, telling people who've got cancer because it's ka $300,000 or organ harvesting between ninety and $220,000 depending on the organ. Money is the problem. It always was. We need to find a better way. There's more money that's gone to waste. This is our money again. Let's not forget that. The US government has spent a staggering 1.46 trillion on wars abroad since September the 11th, 2001. And this is according to the Department of Defense's periodical cost of war report. This amounts to $250 million per day for 16 years. And that's not all the costs either. 
Operation Freedom Central, whatever that means, 103 billion. Operation Inherent Resolve, 17 billion. Operation Noble Eagle, 28 billion. Other costs, Operation Iraqi Freedom, <laughs> that's a laugh in itself, <laughs> Iraqi Freedom, yeah. I'm sure <laughs> they don't like our version of freedom where all the houses get flattened and people, all the families get killed. That's not freedom. That's genocide. Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation New Dawn cost a total of 730 billion. And Operation Enduring Freedom, that word freedom again, except it's not there. It's not our version of freedom. 585 billion. And this does not include war efforts in Libya, Somalia, Lebanon, Syria or Yemen. And all these are the low end costs. And it's also not including veteran benefits costs which is between 600 billion and 1 trillion to date or the ongoing costs of nearly 800 bases dotted all around the world so other countries can experience freedom as well <laughs> yeah right A staggering waste of money all based on lies and if Trump really wants to drain the swamp there's a good start in my opinion just a staggering waste Mr Trump has asked uh, even with all those costs sadly Mr Trump uh, on Monday asked Congress for another 4 billion to support missile defence to counter the threat from North Korea you're telling me we spend near 700 billion a year on the military and we've got no missile defence again where's the oversight committee they should be sacked every one of them He said this request supports additional efforts to detect, defeat and defend against any North Korean use of ballistic missiles against the United States, uh, its deployed forces, allies or partners. Trump wrote this in a letter to Congress on Monday. Trump repeated his request that Congress will provide $1.6 billion to build a wall on the US border with Mexico. Is that to keep the Mexicans out or keep us in? Works both ways, doesn't it? Either way, it's ridiculous. I know there's people on the border of Texas that suffer, but that's what we have border patrol for. Maybe we could bring a load of the bases, shut a load of the bases down that's dotted all around the world that has no benefit to the American people and put a couple of bases along the border at Mexico and employ the soldiers there on our soil not 8,000 miles away so there's a number of countries like Japan and India and Germany amongst others that are all complaining about American bases on their so they no longer want them well they don't want freedom <laughs> in inverted commas maybe we should bring them back and, and deploy them here on we go more corruption I said this would increase the Justice Department's probe into a corruption scandal revolving around an Asian defence contractor has expanded to include 60 admirals and hundreds of officers with the US 7th Fleet. This is the same fleet that had the series of accidents that weren't accidents, clearly. 
or ship collisions. The Navy confirmed it has been reviewing the conduct of 440 active duty and retired personnel for possible violations of military law or federal ethics rules in their dealing with Leonard Glenn Francis, a Singapore-based maritime tycoon known colloquially as Fat Leonard. Um, and among those being investigated are, are 60 current and former admirals and the Justice Department handed them the cases of certain individuals who did not meet the threshold for prosecution in civilian courts but may have committed offences under the military justice system that is double the number of admirals in the Navy that was said to be under investigation last year and there are about 210 admirals presently on active duty so the military is cleaning house. On go with you. Back to Britain again. UK politician this week was found dead, Carl Sargent, just two days after resigning over misconduct allegations as part of a wider harassment scandal embroiling the par- Parliament currently. Mr Sargent's body was found on Tuesday uh, in North Wales and the force said the death of the 49-year-old was not being treated as suspicious uh, and it's understood that uh, Mr Sargent was, has committed suicide. Or was he pushed? Time will tell. A former Welsh Government Minister had resigned on November the 3rd and was suspended from the Labour Party after he was informed of allegations against them. He was one of a number of British politicians who have faced allegations of misconduct. That's a broad um, sweep that misconduct in recent weeks prompting party leaders to introduce new safeguards for parliamentary staff on Monday. To stop perverts interfering with them. We keep hearing about um, how the, how great the economy is doing, and the stock market is going through the roof. The next three stories brings that information into the realms of total bullshittery, because <laughs> it's just. Um, their world of illusion which I'll have more on that in the second hour in a move towards growth according to them Target has now decided to close stores and a dozen of them to add to the multitude they um, was it 400 they got rid of last year or was that Sears no that was Sears and the 12 stores spread across states including Michigan, Florida, Illinois and Texas will close on February the 3rd of next year. Meanwhile, meantime, Target is in the midst of vastly expanding its portfolio, it says, in smaller format stores. This is following um, Walmart. They've um, decided to go against the big um, giant superstores and now are doing the the market stores which is just selling food why? because they're not selling any, anything else no one's got any money to buy anything else but food too many of us anyway um people will start selling their cars for scrap or trade them in for autonomous passenger modules as self-driving cars take over transportation. Within 20 years, human-driven vehicles will be legislated off highways. A worrying um, thing for those of us who like uh, cars or the trucks or bikes for that matter. Um, 
and being told we've lost sound it's okay in the studio so I'm not too sure about that or how much was missed so right we'll carry on and um, two more pieces before we go into the music break um, and that will complete the news uh, I United States is more spring cleaning, it's not really been covered too much, has lost 60% of its career ambassadors since January, 60%. And this is according to the head of the labor union that represents US diplomats. Leadership ranks are being depleted at a dizzying speed. According to Barbara Stevenson, the head of American Foreign Service Association chief and a former ambassador to Panama, says there has been a decapitation of top talent. Really? What talent? The rapid loss of so many senior officers has a serious, immediate and tangible effect on the capacity of the United States to shape world events. Well, I think most of the American people are tired of our country shaping world events. I mean, rather they start shaping up and looking after the people for once. So this, again, um, seems to be a trimming of the system um, government um, is way over bloated in this country um, we could do with at least 60% well it's 60% career ambassadors we could do with 60% cut in the government jobs the amount of waste uh, that's going on control systems and fines and licenses and all this rubbish uh, that can end now here's another news item uh, <laughs> uh, a recent research found a source of magma that is fueling volcanoes underneath Antarctica according to scientists anyway a massive upwelling of mantle magna also known as a hot spot and this is a similar mechanism that produced the Hawaiian Islands and fuels volcanic and geothermal activity in Yellowstone now the average uh, thickness of the ice sheet ice sheet in Antarctica is between 2.16 kilometers uh, up to 4.7 kilometers it does magma underneath why isn't it melted why isn't there ice on Yellowstone covered this uh, a couple of months ago why is Greenland mainly covered in ice when it's a lot further south than certain other countries that are not that are covered in ice begs the question doesn't it um, so they're now saying there's a massive heat source similar to the one in Yellowstone sitting beneath the ice but the question remains how has that heat source not prevented the ice building up in the first place I'm sure we'll get more details on that I'm hoping that the show is still going on uh, we are having sound issues I'm led to believe uh, yeah. right we'll have a music break and then um, Get ready for a rather interesting and um, bit of a mind-blowing op-ed piece. Let's 
This is a. Uh, I picked this because it, it reminds me of going to the shops with the scents. Listen to the words. You'll know what I mean. Hi all and welcome back to the second hour this evening. Um, the best is yet to come. Like I said in the first hour, we've had uh, these are, are exciting times for for all of us uh, in many aspects with regards to the alternative media. I'm not negating that people have shitty lives and shitty jobs and no jobs and all the rest, but we have to break down the structure and the volumes of information that are coming out now has clearly shown that the structure is collapsing in on itself and this next piece which I drafted up on Tuesday based on information I received and witnessed in some aspects may put things into perspective after I've finished Chloe's going to come on and talk about the psychological aspect of it but you need to listen closely as um, there's a lot in it right here we go this will likely yield a wave of different sets of emotions something so off the wall something that also that will make a lot of sense occasionally I get what I call downloads of information some of these have been put in the show many of them haven't but it comes at certain times and this I feel needed to be released does it come from my higher self or another aspect of my own multi-dimensionality I have no idea at this point all I know um, that this next piece of information may bring aha moments and may bring Wells de Fargo as in what the (laughs) It comes in two parts that may or not be connected, as always time will tell. For many thousands of years now, our sun has been interfered with and possibly switched out for an alternate version that was not conducive to our life here. Now the sun, as some may or may not know, is a portal that allows things through and into this system and allows things out to other portal suns to wherever that destination is. Recently we had a solar eclipse. Um, It's near three months now, isn't it? (laughs) Time flies. And that triggered some events on the real bigger picture scale. Okay, just checking. Um, They, of course, the cabal and the dark elements, have tried to interfere with that process. Well, it failed again. Yet again, another example of the bigger aspects of their plans failing. One day they'll realise they're all going to fail so we failed and we have progressed onward in the past week a crystalline orb which is the power pack that has been missing from our original sun for a very long time it had been removed and held underground not here For how long it was missing, I'm not sure at this point. But it has been recovered 
and has been returned to the son's core. Now, what can we derive from this? Well, what we can derive is that aspect of the restoration here is now completed. The new organic sun. Prospects for organic life and its systems should improve dramatically, but no timescales were forwarded at this point. So the sun and the planets are now, in essence, either fully restored or very, very close to it. In the past week, it's not a coincidence because it happens to me far too many times. I watched the show on, I think it was the Discovery Channel, where the scientists were at a loss as to why the sun isn't doing what they think it should do. A lack of sunspots, solar minimum and solar maximum now awry. And the 11 year cycle, interesting number, <laughs> is way off their charts. Why? Because they don't know or realise the composition of our sun has changed. Now the final piece is installed. It will change forever. And their old paradigm models will no longer work. Oops. In fact, much of their old paradigm science models will no longer work either, as time will show. With the sun fully re-established, it means the way home is now on the horizon. Wherever that home may be for each of you. It may also trigger a series of beneficial ET groups to come and help here once we have made good on the ground. Not before, after. We have to fix our mess here. So the big question most will be asking is why does it look like hell in a handbasket then? because we haven't chosen to be the change we wish to see is why most think it's outside of their responsibility not necessarily talking about the alternative media people here I'm talking about the people in general most think it's outside of their responsibility or outside of their capabilities to be the change Here's the kicker and the mind blower. You ready? <laughs> what if all we are seeing is not happening on our world, but their world? Think about that for a minute. I'll repeat it again. What if all we are seeing is not happening on our world but theirs? I've discussed and detailed the two worlds a number of times now on these shows. First bringing it forward around 13, 14 months ago, was it? Something like that. And initially some thought that was far-fetched. And that is understandable. Any new theory put forward is always initially rejected. But as time has gone on, and more and more the symptoms of the synopsis have been revealing themselves at a rapid pace. Well, the two worlds now is reaching a rapid pace, and it's getting more strange by the day. Now, what we have is two worlds side by side 
with a portal in the middle. And occasionally they interact with each other. But it's mainly bled through by what I've termed the portal people, who, allow, who I will explain about later. Now I mentioned about a separation of the two worlds around four to six weeks ago. The chains were broke. This was witnessed and subsequent confirmations have been received since. So what are we witnessing now? Well what we are witnessing now is an echo of events being played out. But it's not real. The old world is buzzing through to this world, its negative and psychotic frequencies to overlay into our world to make out like nothing's changed. But the issue is the residual resonance of those malfrequencies still lingers on. It's a bit like last week's curry meal. The curry is all been gone, but the smell remains. And this is symbolic of the residual frequencies that are still around to tune in with your memory set. And also due to programming your set memory. But once you recognize your own knowing and learn to counteract those frequencies by non-consent, those frequencies for you will cease to exist, and more elements of the real organic world will breathe through into your reality. You've heard me say a couple of times, in my world it's already happened. Once you learn to counteract what they're pushing on you via the portal people, via the frequencies, then the real you comes through. Now these are just some of the examples of the two worlds that have been merging. We've all seen strange videos on the internet, which can be CGI, but there's also been a couple that um, were actually real. The strange cities appearing on the skyline, all have witnessed uh, and seen the increase in synchronicities, coincidences, the Mandela effect. All remember now certain people dying, only to be told they've died again. All have witnessed major events with large casualties, and yet few appear to be actually dead. Even Sandy Hook. The records for the month of that event showed up as zero deaths or homicides for that county for that month in the FBI database. Strange glitches appearing in front of you. An increase in orbs out of the corner of your eye and also now those that linger for two to four seconds in front of you. Buildings that go missing when you drive one way, but reappear when you drive back. A Nazi base appeared in the middle of Australia this year, and then disappeared. And the key one, things phase shifting in and out, both objects 
and people. These are all signs of the two worlds. We have false flags being reported by the AI media and internet and recorded date-wise before the actual events. Donation pages set up again before the events take place. FEMA turned up the day before 9-11. FBI turned up at the Mandalay Bay incident the night before. That's just two examples. So, where's all this leading to? Good question. And here is my download that may explain what is taking place. All the events are not happening here, but on the other world. And it's being played out like a movie scene in this world. Disaster drills being turned out as real events. No, they are replaying the version of the event in the other world. The other world's time is ahead of ours. Which ex may explain how the looking glass technology works. Who knows? As the event in one virtual world plays out, they repeat the event into our world to maintain the illusion of non-reality in organic world. In essence, it is a hypnotic suggestion to entrance us into their negative world where the Nazis actually reign supreme. It requires our consent to participate to their perceptual matrix bubble. Once agreed to and aligned with, it pushes you into their world of illusion. So, who are the purveyors of all of this? Well, I mentioned earlier about who I call the port, portal people. They're people that operate to align the two worlds. For the average folk, these people are called news readers. It is they who deliver to you what they want you to know or believe. The vast majority, in fact, may, maybe all of these so-called portal people may be clones or the generative adversarial networks which work to manufacture people. They're not real. Now there was a video, again, not a coincidence, that appeared this week. One of the members sent me. That is supportive of this hypothesis. For those of you with longer memories, um, I think it was around 12, 18 months ago, someone on the internet did a photo page of the many news readers around America and remarked how all similar they looked blonde just past shoulder length hair straight with a hair part on the right hand side look for yourselves this is cloning synthetics or a computer generated vessel to read out the news hmm. 
Now, to add to the mix of mind effery and to reinforce the illusion, synthetics were added into the mix to make everything inorganic look like normal. To uphold the status quo, making our lives more hectic, more chaotic, more stressful, filled with angst and frustration. In other words, keeping us from having that quiet moment where we go within and learn who and what we are. Now, one of the many things that puzzles me with the massive increase over the last 10 years of phones with cameras is why is there hardly anyone meeting any of the so-called famous people and taking pictures? Where do these people go? Or are these people? The, in, the internet, you know, a lot of people like the famous people. They want to be next to them, take pictures, selfies, etc. Where are all those pictures? The internet should be flooded with pictures of the so-called famous people in shops, restaurants, theatres, bars, airports, or vacation places. And yet, Hardly anyone sees these people. Why? Well, maybe they're not part of our world either. With their satanic and cult-like groups, rituals, and all kinds of reported debauchery, all of which largely appears to go unchecked. Now, over a number of years now, people in the alternative media have heard the term ascension being bandied about. In fact, Mr. Wilcock told us all he was, he himself was ascending on December the 21st, 2012. No ifs or buts about it, and yet it never happened. Why? Because the perception was we were getting airlifted off the planets by some flavour of the day ET. Bear in mind this was 2012 and this date was known as minus 2 BC. As in two years before BC. Not before Christ, but before blue chickens. <laughs> Well, uh, what if we'd already ascended? Not in ships, biospheres, or carted off planet by some archangels. But what if we, the people, have ascended enough in our own consciousness that brought about the return of the organic world? and the life that humans had long before the interference of the psychotic AI, Draco, Mantids, Greys, Abraxans, and the often overlooked and undernamed group who were possibly the worst types of skullduggery were the humanoids, Aldazanis. All of those, like the Gabal here, are control freaks. But they're also a collection of very weak species. Only the weak formed in a collective wish to control others. If you feel you have to control someone, the weaknesses is yours because you are frightened of what the other person can do 
all of those groups are frightened of our capabilities and chose to entrap us within this construct system so they remain kings or gods or solar beings in their own tiny insecure minds now I wrote in CV I mentioned this on the show several times that January the 1st 2013 was their end of the game and yes they went on and did a, a loop cheat on us by adding four years up to December the 31st 2016 but in reality their stall for more time ended in the summer of 2015 after that it was a case of monitoring between then and the end of 2016 which I then forecasted an increase in the unravelling now for those of you who didn't listen to that show here's some of the highlights which are as follows many will be exposed in 2017 some who are thought to be good are not some who are thought to be bad are not either news will come at us from all angles and much will be disclosed now we're nearing the end of 2017 seven, seven or eight weeks is it do you think those predictions have been borne out your choice now we've been on a stair step of awareness across a broad spectrum of fields and I would like to think this show has prepared you all well for it but let's look at the main aspects of life here and how things are really changing due to a precipitous rise in awareness the political illusion not just in America but everywhere is collapsing in on itself politicians being caught out with fraud corruption collusion sex crimes treason and crimes against humanity all are now being exposed more than ever and that field is collapsing in on itself so much so now that many see through their illusion and don't vote and many are railing against their politicians the illusion was that politicians are there to look after the country and more importantly its people the reality is they do neither the reason we have no organic constitution or real American government is because we the organic souls have not stepped into it and reclaimed it yet now the fix for this is we the people step up and into those roles currently we have no candidates only those provided for us they're not our people the illusion of voting for their candidates will phase out provided we step up and into those roles and then most importantly not repeat the mistakes and ways that they did a new way of governing that doesn't create wars for profit in fact works to eliminate wars a government that doesn't sign off people's rights doesn't bend over to society's greed merchants rapes the country and the people of their wealth but uses every accountable cent towards providing a better living life not just an existence for all the people so you can clearly see now the political system is falling apart 
here's another system that's fallen apart religion again like politicians they've been exposed on a massive scale when you add in their worship of the Draco Lord that is Anu add in their ritual sacrifice sexual criminality child trafficking and their illusionary bubble of religion that it is, it is beneficial for the people that illusion bubble has clearly been popped to the reality of what it is a control system of losing your energy in churches that are largely situated on ley lines for maximum output by getting you to worship their lord or god Anu. now I would imagine many people will feel sick when they find out that they worshipped a lizard or the demonics we also worship the fake solar beings as well look at the word solar and given the inorganic sun was a mirror effect sol means sun now mirror version ar and you have ra ra the god of the sun my ass he is ra is also marduk and it's another one of the titles the Anunnaki gave to each other that made them feel so self-important and that they should be worshipped by the humans who they see as an, as inferior species they essentially played the role of God or source a fake illusionary version so what's the fix for this well it would be a rather difficult transition on this particular subject but as more of the truth reveals itself as more of the people gain a more spiritual outlook the desire to seek outside of yourself which is what religion promotes will be rendered mute the financial system again a stair stepping of awareness and the aghast at the lengths they have gone to rape and pillage all over the world anything of value and collect for themselves many of these bankers have been exposed and many more will follow this is why so many of them have taken the coward's way out and suicided themselves although a fair few of on that list were pushed as well to avoid them talking and implicating higher up the financial skullduggery scale global accounts were exposed as real and also closed to the cabal offshore accounts have now been shredded reclaimed and added back into the, the collateral accounts or the global accounts trust accounts the right term and is now thrust into the public eye all of these people who have been using these offshore tax havens there was another massive download this week involving the royal family and others another addition to the Panama Papers I think it's called the Paradise Papers oops other trust accounts have been exposed on this very show for all kinds of shenanigans from blackmail to torture to assassinations to political favours the Rothschilds et al scrambling for funds via donations of bogus events false currencies like dinars, dongs and zims creating tokens on a computer and calling it real adding false accounting as well and these are all the signs of a desperation a 
every session, currently standing at nine years, and no sign of changing in their world. Whilst the illusionary stock market doubles in four years, whilst wages, jobs, factories, companies are, are collapsing at an alarming rate. So we've all gained a fairly strong awareness at the depths and levels they use money and in some cases fresh air accounting and currencies to create an illusion of all is well and the system is working just right for the people clearly that illusionary control system bubble has now collapsed as well what is the fix for this? Well, the fix for this is the new totally transparent banking system which is currently being implemented. It's active in some cases but not right across the board yes, as I understand it. Along with full and open clarity on all aspects of banking a release of the accounts to fix the world's ills and then over time when it's all completed and people see money not as a substitute God, but for what it really is or was, another control system. And eventually, we should phase it out. Now, the next on the list has been a more hidden control system. It's called healthcare under its various guises and yet our awareness of the vast crimes against humanity have been exposed for many to see vaccines it's no longer a conspiracy is it another thing that went viral pardon the pun pharmaceutical drugs not there to heal but to harm and then force you into another round of being a guinea pig plus paying extortionate fees to do so female products children's products again all exposed doctors and nurses who don't spend one minute's training on cures in essence those in this industry have been exposed as legalised drug pushers Is it not ironic that a black person selling drugs on a street corner is arrested and jailed at alarming rates and yet Walgreens and CVS selling drugs on the same street corner are given prime time TV advertisement slots the fix for this is again a spiritual background coupled with the knowledge hidden in this field whether that be holistic medicine or practice the so called health machines or for people to believe in themselves as a cure machine yeah that's right self healing Another control system that has undergone a vast change through awareness is television. 500 channels of illusionary bullshittery again has been exposed as not only mind-numbingly crass and sadistic mind control but pushing fake news via the portal people with propaganda on a vast scale numbing the senses to violence numbing the senses to lewd behaviour and bad language and numbing the senses to empathy be it a plethora of only one winner shows where the winner takes all and the rest cry in the beer it's a bit like life really with the 1% and the 99% TV is not there to drive opinion but to enforce it upon you leaving the majority with no thought process of their own it 
crushes critical thinking and engenders a policy of we think for you. You repeat what we say, a bit like teachers in the military currently, really. And the sad thing is the vast majority of teachers like doctors and nurses have no idea what they're saying or relaying to the children. It's just programming. Now the fix for TV is to remove nearly all of the bullshit programming. Remove all of the mind control frequencies and the brain targeting of the advertisements. And for TV to become the medium of knowledge and awareness and truth. Part of the problem here has been the memory wipes that have gone on in the past and also currently. The AI and negative beings do not want us to have all of our memories restored as this would be all over in an instant if our memories came back. The status currently is we may get one loop of memories back. Not the six. All our life force energy has been loosed and harvested over our lifetime and previous. That was stolen by consent trickery. We need to call back all of our stolen energy. A call out from within for all parts to be reintegrated. And then step into the empty roles of leadership. To ultimately take back our world and our sovereignty. The reality is they thought they could get away with things forever here. But we are not creator beings for nothing. Only a lack of memory of that fact created this abom abomination. They never reckoned on us working things out. They criminally underestimated the power of the people the resourcefulness and he never expected the glitch in the matrix to arrive all empires eventually fall through greed and pushing the boat out just that little bit further their boat pushing just hit the rocks and is now sinking fast perhaps that swamp is draining after all hi all and welcome back I hope you've all uh, had your minds blown suitably uh, I'll play those two songs we are spirits in a material world. That in essence is real. That is truth. And the second one is most important. Don't look back in anger. It's gone. It's done. But move forward with a greater purpose. With a, a brighter future based on real hope and I'm borrowing a sentence from somebody else this week hope means holding on to positive energy yes we all can get mired in the anger and the frustration of what's happened to us and what's gone on here 
and sometimes it gets to a point where we get too mired in it and fail to see the positives of what has taken place. Well, I hope the last hour, or three quarters of an hour, however long it was, that last piece showed you how much all those individual control systems are collapsing in on itself. Now, they didn't all just happen because we thought bad things. They, that happened because the people in the alternative media decided we've had enough. We're going to expose the criminality. We're going to reveal the truth and put people back on a better footing. Back in the real world and not the inorganic. The illusion. All their truths have been an illusion. So it's important to not look back in anger. That's just going to mire you into deeper mud. We gave this analogy on the last show, I'll repeat. But those people who didn't listen to the Sunday show with um, Alan James from OYM, uh, it's a rather good discussion. And um, we'll have his partner on, on Sunday, but only for an hour, because he's a, a busy boy. So, uh, look forward to that. But, you've heard me mention about the shadow sides and doing your inner work. And given this vessel is roughly 80% water, if you put, get a gallon bucket and pour a gallon of water in, and then you tip half out and put and fill it half full of mud. Check the difference in weight. It's still the same volume, but the weight is a lot heavier. And this, in essence, is an analogy of your shadow side, inner work, all the trauma, all the anger, all the pain, all the grief, all the guilt, shame, you name it. That's the mud. Now you can't just tip the mud out like a water filtration system. You have to filter it through the water. To transmute the positive from the dross, from the detritus at the core of all your shadow sides that needs to be reintegrated and healed. And so that's a good description of dealing with the shadow side and Chloe's now going to give um, a piece on uh, what was mentioned in the last hour and the psychological aspects of what we're going through and what to expect and how we can all fix ourselves and subsequently fix this planet Chloe uh, The crucible of the matrix was meant to be one loop it wasn't meant to be six it was meant to be one loop for us to run through the ways in which we were tricked by allowing ourselves to be helped by the Drago and their other races that came here to essentially uh, convince ourselves, convince, get, get trick us into convincing ourselves that we needed their help. And... We lost hope that day and holding on to positive energy. Positive energy isn't hopium. It's authentic balance. It's positive energy. I'll go to a plant analogy. Po positive energy is growth, is soul growth. And that is what the, the Draco and their allies wanted to derail so that they could piggyback on our soul growth as the creator beings that we are. That is not hopium. Hopium is what the portal people, the media, this other further layer that we've sort of gleaned to the mind control of the construct that was and is transmuted now to 
very close to the organic. And the key is us unentrancing ourselves to the game, the dream within the dream they convinced us of that this suffering is life. This suffering is not life. We have a chance more than ever before at this time to start growing again. And that's the true positive energy to reawaken the fires of hope from within the fire that helps us reduce that dross in that gritty grainy bottom of the cauldron that we've been cooking in in here. And the energy that prime creator, the big creator, not God, not any Lord, not any guru put into us that made all these beings be so interested in us because it's pretty darn special that energy all energy from prime creator it cannot be created or destroyed it can only be transmuted changed into another form i want this sort of this to be a pep talk to to convince ourselves that we have the ability to transmute all we have felt and gone through in here. That hefty let go list. Not caring what others people feel, think or say of us. It's hard to do. But we have to keep at it because we need to wake up to our own hope and convincedness that we have won. We were absolutely tricked into consenting to give our attention energy to the media, to the, the portal people, to give away our life force to this psychotic AI and the Draco and their various allies. All of this would not have been possible without the false life reviews between our lifetimes that did bully us into acquiescing to sin being sinners, blaming and shame, or conversely, that I am a savior, guru, God. It's a psychological seesaw. We are creator beings, not victims or guru gods. Th these constant memory wipes that have occurred between lifetimes, denying us from going to source and, and rebooting with everything that we are, Reconnecting with everything that we are. These memory wipes that happen even nightly or in our dream time or even moment to moment. It's not a coincidence that these memory wipes come when we're about to figure something out. When we're about to face something important with ourselves or with another we care about. This always result, results in the derailment of any learnings of any positive energy growth. These memory wipes essentially erased any instinctual awareness in each of us of our multidimensional selves, not in this construct. The bigger part of us isn't in here. We think this is all we are, and we're not. Let alone knowledge of cosmic sovereign law. These memory wipes basically... The, the, if we didn't have these memory wipes, we would never have, we would have basically said F you to the Draco and Mantids at the false life reviews. Or any other similar disempowering or conversely egoic distorting life situation. It just wouldn't have happened. So the solution to the psychological seesaw of illusion is to remind. I'm not going to use the word remember anymore. Just like the word you in verse. Remind ourselves who and what we are. Undo the hypnotic spell. Bind to the matrix by exiting the entrancement to suffering, to egoic mind states. Use your imagination. Imagine yourselves into the perspective of our cosmic presence in this verse. Not just the parts of us stuck in this dream within a dream. Read 
read books like The Enlightenment by Alan Holmes, D. Alan Holmes, or the book called The Education of Oversoul 7 by Jane Roberts. Both of these books are a solid reminder of who and what we truly are. Yes, they make you feel sad at first, but we really want to put our mind states and our heart states in a, in a place of connection to all that we are. We have a lack of perspective in here from the sheer amount of time, in quotes, spent in here. And we need to utilize all of our faculties to reignite hope and awareness within of we're loved, we do fit in, um, this isn't all we are. So this is the secret. The more we unentrance ourselves that we're stuck when we're actually not, the more we remind ourselves of our eternal cosmic creator being spirit in temporarily in bodies. We're eternal beings. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. We don't die. It's a transmutation. Even while we are in a body, the more these memory wipes happen, the more we convince ourselves uh, that we are eternal being and this isn't all we are. These memory wipes won't work on you. You'll be able to hold on to that cognitive thread that let you get to that realization or opening to this part in you, or realizing this section of mud at the bottom of the cauldron of you has actually got a, a diamond in it. You just had to use the water to wash it off a bit. You know, the, the filtering that Tommy was talking about. You know, I know it's it's hard um, some days. I, I've been feeling it. And the sad fact is, the amount of louche attained, acquired from us by these bastards while we've been in this slowed down time AI construct so they could squeeze every drop out of us, stuck for all these loops, has taken a toll on our organic spirit in here in some form or another. Each of us is different in the ways that we've allowed our wounds to fester and uh, I really feel like the day that Tommy and I were were formulating a lot of this show he had some we both came together and luckily we have each other to talk about bounce this stuff off each other I was really feeling the collective sort of burden of not only a tipping point coming which is, you know, signified oftentimes by a kind of dark night of the soul. But then there's a morning, right? And this morning isn't a morning of a death. It's a transmuting of everything that we've been in, been through in here. You know, and I'm seeing all sorts of stuff come up in myself and others, you know, the feeling like we don't belong here. We felt displaced all our life. Grief of that is essential. We Collectively, we have an abandonment issue. It's real. We have not been in the right place, the place where we were meant to be. So heal this in yourselves. With the antidote, we are home now. The sun is powered up. We are getting the informed, unconditional love light. Let go of the hurt of the separation. It did happen. That, that was not an illusion, but it is not now. This is what we have to reconvince ourselves of. We are connected. We do fit into the big whole of the Creator. We do belong here. Some of us are having physical challenges. 
conflagrations of injuries, re, old injuries reoccurring or other health conditions all at the same time. Some of them are chronic, like long standing or, or sudden, you know, um, and some of it's them seeding us with colds and things like that. But this is a healing crisis. Many of our lifetimes of disease and balances under the Draco trance state of master and servant suffering and all sorts has led to a backlog of emotional traumas that manifest into our physicality as disease. Use this to clear this backlog now. Purge. Having illnesses, injuries, pain overall come up. We are clearing our way back to balance. Use it as a healing crisis to transmute all we have been through here. Figure out the exact ways that you need to be, that you need to do to heal yourself. And on a mental level, the war within. It's a struggle in a world that cares nothing for the real work of regaining our quiescent selves, ourselves at rest, our, ourselves at rest, who we are when there's no one around, who we are when we're doing what we love. That's our quiescent self. It's the self unfettered, unburdened. It's the genuine, authentic you. That is so hard for a lot of us in this world. You know, it's possibly all the synths out there or the huge materialism culture, all the work we have to do to survive. Yeah, it's all of that. But find the time. Create the environment. To be able to look at honestly our hungry wolves, our unintegrated shadow aspects is what solves the inner war. All the ways we sabotage ourselves. Oh, it's, I just came up another, uh, I'd say boulder in the bottom of my cauldron about that one. And I feel better, but I, I feel for, um, People who don't have a partner like, like I do and Tommy that, you know, can support me while I'm doing that. And even then, you know, a lot of us, even if we are in the same house together, when you're doing this stuff, you kind of want to be alone to face it. So, and, and that's the way that it is. I mean, we're alone. Well, not alone, but we're, we, we come into this world alone and we leave alone. And, uh, you know, that was taken advantage of with these, these, uh, soul traps, the, the false life review traps that's also gone now. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not easy, but it's not near as hard as it once was. I shifted that boulder in myself probably two or three days heavy into it and I did a lot of things that I like to do to help myself process it you know I did baking I did writing I did some sewing I cleaned I like doing those things creativity <laughs> creativity right did some gardening you know we all have such backlogs um but we have the juice right now more than ever, more and more than ever. We have the energy to transmute and call back to ourselves. Everything that was claimed, transmuted by trickery. We're going to untrick ourselves. We're going to unconvince ourselves of any frequency waves, any portal energies that are coming in through our TV sets or in through the mouths of sleepers around us. Just let it go 
and stay focused on your cauldron and doing what gives you joy and of course share it with others who who share those joys because then it multiplies tenfold and that is the call home you've got the sun fully charged up sending this amazing full spectrum unorganized chaotic creative dynamic energy back charging up the planet charging up us on the surface and we can do what we have allowed ourselves to be convinced of feeling we cannot now all those places that a feeling of lack and emptiness all the various reactions we have done to try to stuff that hole is no longer necessary it's as simple as asking yourself to feel more of the real you and each time you ask yourself that you will open to feeling more of who you are imagine that you are whole and healed try it see feel what happens this is how i shifted i was so angry and disappointed and sad all at the same time and i shifted it by just imagining that i'm whole and healed and looking around within my shield my whole energy body and just going great there that needs to be polished that needs to be cleared that needs to be chucked out there was so much stuff that i had to chuck out other people's words other people's programs you know this is like the millionth time you got to keep sifting we have so much of a backlog in us just keep at it because each time you do you cut ballast you cut cords and their portal their energies everything has less and less of a foothold inside of you you will lighten up you will rise up you'll have the hope hope is rising it's an energetic lightning and you get further and further outside of their frequency range so remind yourself who and what you are by being in your heart There's a bridge between our head and our heart that needs to be built and that is the throat and that is the expression of our joys that is the, the expression of our authentic selves do whatever you have that gives you joy to express yourself in a healthy balanced way forgive and let go of the areas in which you were sabotaging yourself only through compassionate and self care will we end the war within if we take care of ourselves in the exact way that each of us needs to get to the core of what needs to be transmuted within be that injury illness or inner war that we've been suffering it releases compassionate self-care self-love transmute all that you are back to center and you'll be unmoving in the storm of this end of this new beginning we have one we need to remind ourselves of that so again i did bump the enlightenment book on the page i'm not sure i have a copy of the the uh the oversouls the education of oversoul 7 which i'm going to read to thomas cuz he doesn't read books <laughs> <laughs> and uh reread those books and read them if you haven't read them they're the best examples that i can think of that 
get us in a state of heart mind awareness of the true reality of who and what we are thank you so i hope that helps you all hope holding on to positive energy chloe mentioned uh in that piece about the soul traps that was another form of trickery is if we went back to real source again that would end overnight but they kept looping it back in and looping it back in and looping and looping and looping well that game is at an end so we can look back in anger or not look back in anger We can envision a positive future or stay stuck in the illusion and the mire. Each has their own choice. You know, Chloe mentioned hopium. There's been a lot of that on the alternative media. Promises of Nasara, promises of Jessara and dings and dongs and all kinds of other strange names bringing untold wealth to certain people but wealth never really fixed anything all it leads to is a materialistic world in, an, in the illusion the temporary salvation for the desperate and the hopeless The real wealth is in the value of yourself. Where you stand in your own sovereignty. Politicians can say this and politicians can say that. But if we all stood in our own sovereignty and turned around and told them where to stick there political ideals again it ends overnight we do have a brighter future and it's our choice as to how long it takes not their choice they're a the fish where the river's gone too shallow and they're flapping about flapping about trying to keep the portal people active in propaganda trying to put a lid on the pedophilia scandal trying to put a lid on the church scandals I'm trying to put a lid on the political scandals by throwing each other under the bus hoping that some of them will survive they won't whether they realise that at this point or not one day they will now many people in the group who feel they're not from here and that's down to some memory recall one day you may get to go to your real home but currently all of us are human My name is Human. Hi all and welcome back to the final portion of tonight's show. I'm going to fit in uh, a few questions. Apologies if I don't get to yours. Um, but 
I felt it was important to get that piece out. Um, and it took, you know, with Chloe coming in. I'm sure I know many of you like listening to Chloe. So, um, I won't get as many questions out, but we'll see uh, where we get with it. Right. Um, uh, this is an update um, on the California wildfires. Uh, apologies that this is a couple of weeks old, but um, this person lives uh, in and around the fires. Our home was one block from the Coffee Park Santa Rosa fire. We have several friends that lost their home, and everyone in this county knows several of the people that also lost homes. It's like the Twilight Zone. Coffee Park is a low to middle class area where so many of the homes were burnt. There are National Guards now patrolling the burn zones 24 hours a day, and these fires were clearly orchestrated, and I knew it right from the start. I just wanted you to know that someone in THI has seen the evil bullshittery right on our own backyard. Um... It's also worth knowing that Santa Rosa is almost exactly due east of Bohemian Grove. Um, I do love living in this county, not for the politics, but its beauty, people and friends. Yeah, we're all very sad of what happened in California. It appears now like Vegas. Um, there was military types involved, exotic weaponry and all kinds of other fun games. Um, a whole 24 hours before a psychic attack I felt darkness all around me and very unsettling I was so intimidated I slept with a light on that night can you explain what happened any further well it's your body warning you it's your own intuition your own alert system uh, too often we ignore things like that when we go into a room and one person just feels off. It's your body telling you. Like we've always said, the answers are within. So you, I think people often have this uh, pervading darkness and can't understand where it's come from. And it often um, sets the mind racing into overdrive and, and fears that this will happen or that may happen and all that stuff. But it's uh, all about being calm and imbalanced. If you're calm and imbalanced, I've mentioned this many, many times now, about the 55-45 swing, and you feel darkness, you don't have to do much to recenter. But if you're 70, 30, 80, 20, 90, 10, you've got a lot to come back to, to recenter. And this is again about being calm and staying balanced. We've, you know, we've done documents of how to deal with psychic attacks. We've done documents on the ground and centering and shielding, which are available on the Facebook page and the Think Different dot the people's club dot org as well you know so if you're suffering from this you need to reaffirm i men mentioned recently that the frequencies have been ramped up and the attacks have been ramped up and certain aspects of your shielding have to be more uh, imaginative just imagining a certain white light may not be enough or imagining there's an angel around you protecting you no that's thinking outside of yourself you protect you you have that capability the spirit and your soul knows that before it goes out in the so called dream time that the vessel is a place of safety providing you haven't got holes in that said vessel which you can close up so I hope that helped but listen to yourself more why am I feeling this way just break it all down and then just after that stay calm stay balanced 
It's easier to deal with. Um, is Chan 4 correct in saying um, Android is in custody? Not as I understand it. Things may change, but not as I understand it currently. Um, as far as I'm aware, she's still on the run. But we'll see. Uh, was Podesta's plane really forced to land? Uh, I'm not too sure on that either. Um, like I said, the intel is kind of on a bit of a lockdown, but there's that much going on at the moment. Some of it's bleeding through. Some of it's being um, misdirected in the alternative media to draw attention away and make fools out of people. Um, you have to be aware of that. I mentioned this last week of all these ex-CIA, ex-FBI and all these people. Um, largely, not all, largely they're there to confuse distort and distract Chan 4 is saying we won is that true well the middle hour should give you the answer to that but it depends on what you feel is winning what version of winning are you looking forward to complete freedom in an organic world with every most people are living in harmony with nature and themselves or winning the lottery in a chaotic construct you know which I would choose uh, do the current events in Catalonia have any relationship to the crusades against the Cathars in the area of Ocatan as Levishoff describes as the true history. Uh, uh, Ocatan was spoken over a huge area. It's larger, actually, than the traditional French-speaking area. And it has a number of dialects, including Provençal. And uh, Ocatan is just north of the Basque region, for those who don't know. And is closely related to the Catalan language like the unofficial languages elsewhere in Europe, the use of Occitan was actively discouraged for centuries in France, even suppressed. Yeah, this is how they stifle the history, and then they rewrite it in English, and it has no bearing on the original, a bit like the Bible, really. Um, so, in the interest of imposing... Uh, an official language to help bolster a nascent national identity and avoid the confusion between the present Languedoc which is part of the languedoc Roussillon region and the Languedoc, the area of the Languedoc where Occitan was traditionally the first language Languedoc is an, a big area and it's also twinned at a certain region that I was uh, researching four or five years ago about one of our members being uh, possibly uh, an ascension to the throne as Queen of England and her family uh, came from a town in England that was twinned with the Languedoc area Brusillion and uh, the latter it's called Occitania O double C I T A N I A. Most people have never heard that term. As I said, it's uh, larger than the traditional French speaking area. So the language spread, um, but the that particular language um, was, for example, the first and preferred language of King Richard the First of England, known as the Lionheart as well as of his mother Eleanor of Aquitaine. So yes, there is um, connections and uh, Languedoc is a Templar region. 
Now there are Templars, and there are Templars, as we already know. And there's Freemasons, and it all gets rather muddy. But there are a group of Templars that have kept the ancient history for at least a thousand years. And they've been hunted down and hunted down, a bit like um, Mary Magdalene. It was those people that were protecting her. So this is um, Catalonia and Occitania are linked. And they're doing their utmost to stifle ancient languages and ancient history so they can rewrite it for themselves, which is basically what they've done. Um, Where are we next? Uh, Many people are complaining of depression and attacks. Do you think Satanists are cursing and spelling us now, or is it the interdimensionals attacking? No, it's the frequencies. I warned of it about a month ago. It would ramp up, and I warned you all to protect yourselves. You keep getting attacked. You haven't done sufficient inner work, and you haven't done sufficient ground and centering and shielding. It does reduce. It doesn't eliminate. It reduces it. More time needed um, developing your own inner skills. If it gets too much, then come and speak to me. Will the Rothschilds get their way in the House of Lords? Seen as MI6 will have information on all of them. MI6 is part of the problem. MI6 works with CIA, Faction 3, and some of the goons in Faction 2, um, and also the KGB, the rogue elements, and also Mossad. Even during the Cold War. Again, political and espionage, espionage illusion, because they were all colluding can clones be shut down at the flick of a switch good question and I don't really know the answer to that Um, it's possible I suppose it's just a program at the end of the day it would be fun if they all got deleted at the same time and see how many fell like Hillary falling downstairs (laughs) Uh, I have asked this question a few months back and you were non-committal in your response at the time I want to ask you this question again as you may be able to speak more about this now does this all end play itself out specifically uh, specifically rather regarding the synths is a day coming when we will know beyond a doubt who these deceivers are. I think you already know. It's playing out, but uh, uh, maybe the information in the second hour shows you how it plays out. Will the current noise from Washington, D.C. be the straw that finally breaks the cabal's back? Part of it. Cabal's not just Washington. In, et- in essence, they're the, um, the thug element of um, the control system. You've got the so-called spiritual element, which is just illusion and harvesting of souls and energy entity known as the Vatican. You've got the financial institution who were the thugs of the world before then which is Britain and the city of London and they handed the baton over to District of Columbia to do all the dirty work and yes we have more clans here than anywhere else with fingers in too many pies because we've got too many bases uh, littered all over this planet 
in places they shouldn't be. Not for our benefit, like I said earlier, for their benefit. And the sooner the military and um, are having some sort of breakthroughs with certain elements, I won't go much further than that, realise what we've been telling them all along is they're not going to make it either. Pawns in the game, like Kissinger told them all. Just pawns sent out to do the dirty work of which we, the American people, pay for. Which was covered in the first hour. Enough of that nonsense. Um, so I hope that answers your question better. Since every living thing is a frequency, isn't Earth just a frequency to the conscious observer since you can never reach your vanishing point moving forward? Yes, it, everything is a frequency. This ease is a frequency. Um, the vanishing point moving forward. Well, there is no vanishing point. That's just part of the illusion. Like the railway track, it looks like it goes to nothing. When if you go further down the line, it's exactly the same. Basically, as you're walking down a railway line, or along it, you're vanishing the illusion. The eyes can trick. The mind into believing it's an inverted V. It's not as it. Uh, in the past, you have mentioned that prior to the election, Clinton tried to sign all of the country's resources away, assuming uh, she would be elected. Is it possible that more than just uranium was sold? No, the ura- uranium was sold. The rest of it was blocked. Oops. So now, having um, done those deals with people, those people want delivery. Except it's not happening, is it? So there's more than one group of people chasing down the entity known as Hillary Clinton, which is why she's fled. I was wondering what the significance was of all the bankers' deaths a while back. I'm sure you will recall. How does all that, along with the doctors' deaths, tie into all of this? Was the doings of the other faction, which will be next, and does this include the Rothschilds? Was that the doings of the other faction? Well, the bankers, some of them were pushed. Yeah, uh, some of them were thrown under the bus to protect certain others the classic example is the pedophilia in Britain Jimmy Savile dies and they out everything about Jimmy Savile but won't tell you who Jimmy Savile was working for now the key is now is We don't wait for people to die or for them to announce they've died when they've already died. Is to be prosecuted while they're alive. Not like Ted Heath, another politician in Britain. Or the fact that Blair and Brown and Rifkin were involved in Dunblane. And those kids, all bludgeoned by a Manchurian candidate to shut them up as the kids were talking about being interfered with by politicians. That's close to Balmoral Castle. Bal, immoral, more like it. 
ritual events take place twice a year there. That's why Britain had so many Scottish MPs. All part of the ritual club. So the doctor's deaths, I presume you mean in the, the holistic, uh, but I'll cover the other aspect. The holistic uh, people um, are being killed off because they're destroying their profit margin. Again, the lens people will go to make money. Where lives are sacrificed just so they can have more money in their wallet. That's probably too much to spend to begin with. I mentioned last week about the mindset. The mindsets have to change in all of us. The way we go about life. What we think is important. A re-evaluation of what's important in life and what's not. There's always a good cleanse of the system. And then you've got, of course, the scientists type doctors that were all being killed off again. As they started talking. Well, climate change being bullshit, which is what it is. Climate change is goes up and goes down unlike the bogus Wall Street market one day it'll collapse um, whether it was it, uh, to do with the factions and the Rothschilds it would depend on the individual cases of how high up and how much that particular individual knew you know, we've mentioned previously the cabal are culling their own because they cannot afford the overbloated system without the use of the trust account. That's what kept them going. That no longer is an option. So now they're faced with a big problem. And so they'll eliminate the minions. So now those people who thought they were more important than us are on the same level. Oops. Those same millions are not less pleased at finding that out and are even less pleased that the Rothschilds et al. haven't paid them in months and in some cases years. Awful lot of mercenary type groups who have been paid in, and certain military groups being paid in dinars waiting for the big payday except it's never coming eventually even uh, some of them rewire and reconnect the few brain cells they have and realise it's never happening Uh, how are we for time? Loads. Oh, not too bad. I've asked this question many months ago, and I hope you help me through it again. Uh, the long game, lightly dark, reptile versus human. You mentioned set higher entities were responsible. Uh, Certain higher enti entities responsible were sent for reprocessing forcefully. That is correct. Also, that this planet was essentially 83% dark. That is not, not correct. The universe or U inverse was the whole of it was 83% dark. Various planets were various other ranges, but the whole universe was 83% dark. And with that dark comes the immoral, depraved abuse to our children and the human soul. Without getting specific, I'm aware of the full scope and depth. The knowledge of this betrayal has never left my mind. 
only gets less painful with time. The explanation that the UPU gave control of this system to the Galactics to do with what they saw fit, for me that doesn't quite cut it. No, the UPU did not give control of this system to the Galactics to, to see fit. That is not correct. They decided they would take over everything for themselves. The UPU have come in to oversee the changes. They're not going to fix it for us. We have to do that. Like I've said in previous shows, it's largely, largely a human versus human issue now. Um, if higher beings were forced to be repurposed and someone fell asleep on the job yes it's a possibility and this is Tanath's um, information um, that the source in here was naive everything was all about light didn't perceive the dark so that's technically uh, how it um it was an oversight. Um, surely the council governs vast systems. Well, yes. Where's their culpability in all of this? Well, you've got to understand there was a lot of lying going on. I've mentioned this time and time again. We were considered uncivilized and only fit to be used as slaves. And uh, because we didn't have a human representative on the council, there was no one to counter-argue. That is no longer the case. So the Draco, who many have raised doubts and questions and appealed to the council, for them to be dealt with the Draco always went right to the edge where they couldn't step over the line of free will so the Draco then used trickery if you were um, you came in and I asked this to all the listeners If you came in from another universe and you know nothing about Earth and you observed from above, what would you think of the people? Think about that. Again, as a collective rather than individual or small groups. If you were observing what was going on around this planet, what would you think about the inhabitants of it? It doesn't look good, does it? And yes, there is, because of the trickery involved and the deception and consent by not understanding the terms, the word magic and the spells all comes into it. But from an outside perspective looking down on this planet, you wouldn't have much hope or give much thought to the inhabitants, would you? Where life is just cast aside like it's nothing for the sake of oil or the sake of land or the sake of money life's far more valuable than material possessions the fact that they've become corrupted and are acting out on playing Basically, the Cabal now are mimicking the Draco. 
the worst aspects of it. They haven't even got the, the intelligence. It was the Draco who were, uh, played the major role in creating this system. The financial system being one of them. They didn't even give their minions on the surface the codes or the right codes because he didn't trust them. And this is partially why they have no access anymore. And also because the oversight committee for this planet has decided to change all the codes that they can't hack. Oops. So they can still give each other titles and self-importance. And my key will work, and every one of their keys has failed to hack into the back door of the system. Like everything else, it's failing. Um, so there was a lot of chicanery going on and a lot of lying and deceiving and yes they should have some responsibility I'm sure they ha- they do um, but they as I understand it are working hard to correct and level the playing field which has largely been done over the last four years and we're down to now good versus evil the ultimate earth power game the Armageddon of the mind which side are you going to be on so Finger pointing at this point is well past it. All have played a role in it. And we either move on and look back in anger or we move forward with hope. And rebuild the world into a better place. Or do we spend the rest of our lives in bogus court systems trying to obtain justice justice will be served one way or the other but I don't think it's beneficial to we the people or the planet seeking compensation that's what it amounts to something that can never be paid or repaid you can't bring back all the the women fathers and children that they've destroyed in wars both their own and the other countries you can't bring them people back but it would be far more beneficial use the word Chloe used transmute that energy into driving us forward into a better world where those injustices and life becomes important again and not something to be frittered away for the sake of oil, gold or some other commodity that essentially belongs to all of us anyway So I hope that answers your question. Um, McCain and HRC both have medical boots on. Perhaps they both don't like stairs. Um... What do you know about the 26 bodies that were found that were all females? I presume this is related to the church event that took place in Texas, was it? Well, 
last Sunday. I think it was te- Texas. Oh, there's that many events now, even I'm uh, struggling to keep up with it. <laughs> um, if it's the church event, then it wasn't 26 females. So I don't know where that, that information's coming from. If it's one of those ex-CIA or ex-FBI on 4chan, I would take that with a pinch of salt, personally. They'll have some things right, but most of it's misdirect. Was one of the parents from the Saudis family, there was, uh, one of the parents was a prince. It's a possibility. I don't know whether they were actually Saudi or from that family. But one of the, in fact, the only male parent that was left out of the last ten and the last five was a prince. Right, I think um, I'll close a day. I'm rather tired. I've been uh, slightly under the weather for the last week or so. I think there's been enough in tonight's show. Apologies, I didn't get to your questions. Um, I may have another go next week if uh, <laughs> we don't have long op-ed pieces. I know you all like them, so um, it's not like uh, the show was uh, less good because we didn't answer all the questions. So anyway, I'll be back on Sunday. It's going to be a shorter show. Uh, around an hour with um, Stephen George uh, the other voice of OYM Um, we've got uh, I'm still preparing um, another special show and there's another ultra special show uh, waiting to come forward and also I've got to reconnect with Max Egan and hopefully um, I know he's busy up until Saturday I think and then after that um, we'll arrange a time uh, that he can come on and share his story and his knowledge which is um, runs uh, very parallel to this show as I've found, found out so thanks for the person who sent that Right, what are we going to end with? Perhaps this is fitting. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm sure you did. There's a lot in it. Again, there's a lot of hope in it. Um, the hopium, false promises. It's all about you at the end of the day. And that's what the second hour was really all about. We have already brought about the change. You're just not recognising your own role in it. It's not just me or others who do radio shows or YouTubes. That the ones that have driven it without the listeners. We're just an empty talking head. All of us that listen to this show and the many other shows in the alternative media have driven that change. Never underestimate the power of the people. We all have often done that. But all those things that I covered in the second hour were all driven by you, Not little old you. You. We created a consciousness environment to be the change. The change is already taking place. More so this year than any other year. All is being revealed. All is being unraveled. Like I mentioned what happened in 2017 but as long as we continue to push forward and not look back in anger like I said 
be the change.